we're not talking about like forming a relationship. Sure, we're, but we're even saying, as like, a, he as might like a, just be. I just want to. He he was hot and he was a hot guy in the foam can mm -hmm. party. Yeah, yeah, and I understand what you're saying there. But so for the the largest survey that I could find, so in 2015 in evolutionary psychology, um, Frederick and Jenkins did a survey of over 60,000 people. Ha over half of them were men, um, and it had to do with the av average number of sexual partners between all the men. Mm -hmm. um, and because so, I'm curious, I'm trying to find like, well, are there certain guys that like all the women, like who are the alphas or whatever. And two of the metrics that they track were height and BMI. So they had very short, short, average, tall, very tall, and extremely tall guys. The biggest discrepancy, the extremely tall guys had 12.3 partners on average, the very, and extremely tall was six, five and above. And the very short guys, five, two to five, four, my short Kings, their average partners was 9.4. That was the biggest discrepancy at short, which is five five to five seven, you have eleven average partners. From five eight to five ten, you've got eleven point seven. From five ten to six one, you've got twelve. And then from six two to six four, you've got twelve point one. From six five on, you've got twelve point three. There's not like this huge discrepancy in terms of like who's getting all these partners. And same thing with BMI. For underweight people, it was eight point two average. Normal weight ten point twelve ten point nine. Uh, or normal weight, overweight was twelve. Obese was eleven point seven, and then obese category three was nine point three. I, I just, I just don't know that that necessarily describes Leonardo DiCaprio. Like, there's just, there's. It's like, not, but I think there's a really good description for Leonardo DiCaprio, and this is what I kept trying to find: who yeah. is getting all the women? And it's not a particular trait. It's oh. not a particular thing. It's just guys that want to a lot of women. Those are the guys that get a lot of women. It's not because they're necessarily tall or necessarily wealthy. And I don't. I, you guys must know somebody. I think we all probably know a guy who's a bum who hits way above his pay grade because he's got a good smile. He's the pool boy, right? Sure. Uh, arguably, he is the pool but boy because what does the a, pool boy have? What's, right? the, guy, what's, the, guy who's, what's the guy who's nailing uh, Kim Kardashian now? Or uh... Pete Davidson? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's cool. great. But yeah. Yeah, that, that has to do with pre-selection. The, uh, the thing is, though, you'd also know the guy who's like really tall and good looking who can't get his life together but just keeps banging hot chicks after hot chicks mm -hmm. it just the thing is for women there's so many different reasons why they're attracted to men but for some women one of those reasons is physical it's appearance looks. and mm -hmm. for for other women it is mm -hmm. just money and they all live here mm -hmm. in south beach like that's you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that might be the case but poor people have more partners on average so it poor, seems like I'm trying people. to find like we have these theories and these concepts that's and I'm trying to like drill it down more people than there are rich people you look at no, the, look well, at the number but it's also because poor people just more cuz they have nothing else to do Right. If you're a kid and you go to school and then There's you go home and mom's and like, more. Right? yeah, well, no, no, it's because, <laughs> it's not like like it's more, but it's because you, you have less, less shit to do when you're poor. Right. We're not yeah. in caves. Well, I mean, I mean, depending on where you're born. Uh, no, but like <laughs> wealthy people. Right. You wake up at 630 a.m. to go to your high school pre band practice and then you're from school from seven to four and then you've got football practice from four to six and then you go home to mom who's a full time mom at home. Right, your day is going to look a lot different than somebody that like goes to school at eight, leaves school at two thirty, and you've got nothing else to do for the rest of the day. But right, and statistically speaking, poor people do have they've got more kids and they have more sex than wealthy people. Like it doesn't seem like there's a discrepancy between tall and short people. I can't find a discrepancy between like fat and small people. So I feel like the guys that want to f aren't like evolutionarily the guys that just look. At, it's guys that want to f that go out looking for women to fucking practice like showing more intent. so you're saying logistics might help might have a big part in it because yeah. they're putting themselves out there more yeah exactly and i'm saying that even though we can survey women and we can say like do you find this guy more attractive or this guy more attractive or this guy more attractive? women will say oh yeah i find that more attractive and we're very keen to say like well look they find that more attractive these are the guys having all the sex but that's not always true it's just the guys that want to have all the sex